Hey guys and gals, uh, I'm Steve from the Dublin Academy of Education and uh, getting a look here at the Leaving Cert examination for 2024. Uh, so first off, just had a brief scan through and we'll say that I very much like this paper. Um, it's, it's got a nice mix, it's evenly balanced, I feel. I feel it's got stuff that can be attempted by everybody, but there's still gonna be one or two things there to kind of separate the H1s from the H2s. So just, to, I'll break it into two sections. In the section A, there's five questions, students have to do three. And uh, the very nice one, he hasn't asked it for many years, but F against A, so actually very nice, accessible question, uh, followed by the folk length of a converging lens, which I felt was gonna come up and did. Um, again, no little tricks in there, nor for the specific latent heat effusion of ice, another one that I felt was gonna come up, um, and was kind of overdue for a while. Uh, he had frequency, uh, frequency of a stretch string with a length. Um, again, looking through it, very nice, Question, nothing there to catch people out. And finally then, I against V for uh, copper wire with a bit of resistivity at the end. Very nice questions, very well balanced. Um, your typical kind of setup, if you've done your work, you should have found them quite nice. Uh, into the section B, uh, the long question. So they had to do five here out of uh, the nine. And in this case, the mixed question, question six, is very nice. Loads of stuff for students to answer and get their teeth into. And not as challenging uh, maths as he's given before, actually, which was quite nice. Uh, the mechanics question, question seven, was beautiful if you've done your work on circular motion. And I had a little bit there as well about um, just the ball being released and firing across as a projectile. Very nice question. He asked one similar a couple of years back. The question eight, people might have found a bit challenging. Uh, it was electricity, kind of electromagnetism at the start, and then mixed in with a bit of sound. Again, not like a whole lot to catch you out, but just mixing two topics tends to upset people in general. Uh, question nine then was mixing in a, a lot more electricity, mostly electricity here with some semiconductors again. If you'd revised the semiconductor question from last year, you would have found that very, very, very nice. Uh, question 10 was on uh, modern physics and kind of radioactivity and radioactive decay. And they talked a bit about um, nuclear fission as well. Very similar to years before. Uh, a little bit there with some asking about average energy and how many times bigger. But once you've read it once or twice, I think students would have found that quite fine. Uh, question 11 was uh, one on capacitance and potential difference, all that jazz. Again, very similar to previous ones. Nothing there to catch you out. Question 12 was the option question. So the first half, the A, is the modern uh, particle physics. The B is the... Uh, applied electricity and I'll say uh, the A part here was very 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 accessible um, he's asked all these questions before if he'd gone back through the last couple of years he would have found it very nice um, question 13 was a nice mix it's always the mix or the random question he gives a bit of a story no one ever reads it and uh, then you go through and he talks about names some stuff about light and have a good time talking about light so it's refractive index Snell's law all that jazz kind of mixed in a very nice question as well and then finally, uh, question 14 is do two out of four parts. The first part was mechanics, followed by uh, more kind of uh, radioactive decay, followed by thermionic emission and kind of cathode ray tubes. And then finally about the spectrometer. So there was a lot of choice there. I only felt there was one kind of question in the mechanics part there that would kind of throw people a bit, but that's the point of it, the design of it to sort as H1s, H2s. What I'll say is overall, I really liked this paper. I thought it was nice and well balanced. And I think students who had done the revision the last few weeks would have actually found this really accessible. Um, best of luck in any remaining exams.